Hey, you going, Taurus? We're going to do you a daily read and see what comes out for the spiritual message. We're going to use several decks. Somebody may be thinking about love at the present moment. What are you, what's going on with my deck? All right, anyway, yeah, somebody's thinking about love at the present moment, which is magnificent, but uh, we'll see how that ties into the reading. And so we'll try this again, shall we? Somebody's got good news coming in, okay? Or somebody's about to make some sort of communication that's going to make you not so sad. It's the best way to say that. Ooh, almost. It's because the deck's so old. Yeah, it's fated. Whatever communication you've got or whatever the communication's about to be made in some sort of way is fated in the first place. But uh, what we're going to do is split the deck. Okay, that is the crown of the reading, the thoughts. That is the reading itself. This is the opposing energies. That's the unconscious. That's the outcome. That's the hopes and fears. That is the heart of the matter, whatever the matter may be. That is the future. That is the past. Woo, there's your card there. Level of ascension is beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. You're becoming wise. That's magnificent. Yeah. Absolutely magnificent. And it's your future too. So that's magnificent. Okay, because we got five five in some sort of way. Alexa, what is the spiritual Alexa stop? Stop that. The spiritual eh? Alexa, stop. The significance and purpose Alexa, stop. Told you once, Alexa. Alright, Alexa, what is the spiritual meaning of five five? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, according to Psych News Daily, 555 is the angel number. According to those who believe, the number means significant change is imminent. So if you see the number, it means that your life is in transition and is an assurance that the changes ahead are for our greater good. Okay, that's beautiful. Whatever your um, communication you've got or whatever communication is going to be made, it's like it's not going to ostracize you or put you out, okay? It's a wish in some sort of way. Whatever's in the past wasn't a wish, but whatever leading into the future that you're wishing is a is in some sort of way magnificent. So you don't need to juggle the thoughts because the manipulation comes that way. So you've got some sort of beautiful victory coming in, and that's magnificent in itself, okay? Alexa, what is the meaning of Psalms 17.5? You've got a wish coming, eh? So a wish over Psalm seventeen five emphasizes the importance of staying on God's path and avoiding spiritual slip ups. It emphasizes the importance of living by God's laws and developing a spiritual relationship with Him to achieve personal goals and praise Him. Excellent. And if you're being called to do something by spirit, and you know your intuition's telling you to do so, you should be doing it. The communications there in self. It's like somebody's got to make some sort of communication. All right. It's like spirits. Um, Thoroughly putting that in the background. So you protect your energy. It's dynamic, okay? You're the empress, okay? It's your empress. Look, you're, got, you're leading towards the sun, okay? You're leading towards something that's going to be protective in some sort of way, bring inner peace and happiness and know the worth in some sort of way. And it's around love, okay? Whatever was from the past there, it's in reverse, that star over there. It was trapping you in the mind so you could learn the trials and tribulations, okay? That's what the communication's about. Divine judgment's been laid and that means spirit knows your heart and your motives to be true, okay? And the conflict from the past... Spirit says manifest healing at the present moment for that past sort of issues because in the past we've got somebody ostracized, somebody put down in some sort of way, okay? Yeah, you've got a star. This Somebody's walking towards a star or somebody's got a choice to walk towards a star or something like that, all right? Because there's a star in verse. Whatever was in the past over here ain't no wish. But whatever's in the future over here, it's a massive wish. It's a level up in some sort of way because that was five, five, five just then in itself. It's funny, hey? It says plan for your future. It's beautiful, okay? Your love is superhuman. There's some sort of um, happiness and positivity coming in, which is fantastic. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at the reading. All right, this is the past, and we can see something ostracized, but whatever that was, okay, there was no wish there because the wish is in reverse and so forth, okay? There's a victory, man. You've got a victory coming towards the future, okay? I'm telling you the truth, okay? Because now we're leading into the future. The Six of Wands is victory. Alexa, now, Alexa, turn off. I'm going to just do it straight out of the book. Six of Wands, all right? Leadership, success, accomplishment, success, being seen, becoming an influencer, victor victory, optimism, inspiring others. You are walking towards some sort of beautiful that's going to beautiful future that's going to recognize something, all right? We're going to have a look at the current energies and the opposing energies to that, the unforeseen 
Okay, that's your connection to spirit, but that's also the thoughts. Okay, that's the heart. The, uh, the way people see you, the outside worldly things, hopes and fears, and that's the outcome, okay? That's the past and the future. But we're going to have a look at the energy we're in at the present moment. And whatever that was from the past, the Queen of Coins is in reverse. So it shows thoroughly that there was no, like, love there because she's Queen of Love. And in reverse, it's controlling or somebody suppressing their emotions, maybe feeling insecure. Maybe somebody made you feel insecure. They didn't listen, that's for sure. They need to listen more, whoever that is irrationality they were rational they were emotionally blackmailing you an opportunity to take your power back though on how you feel leading into the future because leading into the future you have a divine blessing aces are divine that makes sense but they're also new beginnings in itself and that is the pentacle so it's something that's going to grow to be the legacy or, or something like in, that in itself aces are origin and roots and uh, the individual and new beginning if that makes sense that's beautiful. See how it's a root there? It's like it's like you're coming into your roots or something like that or creating roots in some sort of way. Whatever you ended out from the past, there was no love there, okay? You can see that there, okay? You can see that there was a tower moment waiting there in itself because there's some sort of rebirth taking part in order to get you towards this uh, foundation, okay? Because that's the phoenix rising from its ashes. But whatever that was from the past, there's a tower moment waiting for that in itself, which is why that's there in itself to ostracize. Deception. The moon highlights things we can't see. It might be deception. Be unapologetic, you. Even though she's the Knight of Wands, she's surrounded by four wands, and the four wands is completing it out to be celebratory, if that makes sense. And that's happiness and positivity. Yeah, man. I'm telling you the truth. Whatever that was in the past, there's no love there. Okay? That's the best way to say that. There was no love there at all. It does show that there as well. Financial stress there, being self-absorbed. You were dealing with somebody who was self-absorbed, somebody fake, somebody who smothered you, somebody with helicopter parenting, overindulgence, and I suppose the best way to say that. You got something coming in into the future, which is absolutely beautiful. Spirit, you are making my ears ring, man. That was so much energy in one go. You're leaning towards the future, which is absolutely beautiful, okay? Whatever was from the past, no love, no abundance, okay, no growth. Whatever, and that's why it was ended out, okay? So you could get what you want leading into the future because that wasn't a wish coming from the past and it ostracized you, put you down, put you out in the, in the cold, okay? You were juggling thoughts and there was a lot of baggage there, but leading into the future, there's going to be something there. We're going to have a look at the unforeseen. Yeah, look, Spirit's saying release it. Release it from the past or release it. You, you released it from the past for a specific reason. Ten of Swords and above that is a, t is a tower, in itself and you can see the re rebirth and the transition you made of releasing that because the hangman needs to be released because of the stabbing in the back because the tower moments wait was waiting or coming in some sort of way but it does show you'd release something that was stabbing you completely and utterly in the back let's have a look at the thoughts temperance angels watching over you keeping you safe you have a divine connection coming in some sort of way and it's the roots of a start of a foundation that is beautiful because look it literally sits there the ten of cups straight under that is the new roots coming in okay and anything from the past if that makes sense stabbed you in the back which needs to be released because we can see that that's why we needed to release that in order to get the growth to come in the temperance angel is harmony it's like harmony in in a family the ten of cups is uh alexa what is the meaning of the ten of cups tarot the Ten of Cups in the Tarot represents joy, peace, and family contentment. Beautiful. So it shows with this card here, family contentment, happiness, family coming in, in like a creation. It's coming in in the background. You may not see it at the present moment because you're enlightened or you're gaining enlightenment at the present moment. But it shows it's harmony because the temperance angel means divine timing, but it also means harmony. It's a balance balance of uh, masculine to feminine. It's a balance of energy, I suppose, that's coming in into the future, which is absolutely magnificent. Okay, but what we're going to do is uh, pull some cards for the past and see why she's in reverse over here. And so plan for your future, okay? Man, as soon as we go anywhere near it, it starts talking about a tower moment from the past in some sort of way. Because look, bullying, harassment, put down. Uh, teasing, hollow victories, fighting, look, five, 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 five. So many fives. That might mean something to you. Alexa, what is the biblical meaning for, for Psalms 10, 5? Psalm 10, 5 reads, His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far from his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffs at them. It's a verse from the book of Psalms, part of the Old Testament. 
basically that says whatever that was from the past, you heard it from the past. It's, it's like judgment. There was judgment there in some sort of way, if that makes sense. Judgment's never good. Yeah, look, it's trapped in the mind. It was trapping you in the mind in the past. Look, she's trapped in itself. So you can't grow there. What's that card, man? I know what the sun is, but next to that with that, uh, it's like we pulled the cards before and it shows something coming in. The same cards come before, right? But it means something different with those three combined because the first card is trapped in the mind. So it can't be a positive card if that makes sense. Trapped in the mind stops the growth so no light comes in. Does it make sense? Whatever this from the past, because you can see the door has been lit up in the background here with the judgment here in itself and the justice, if that makes uh, the, the baggage in itself. There's divine inspiration in this reading. Step off in the right direction in some sort of way. But see, it's ostracized and then comes down to the Queen of Cups in reverse and then trapped in the mind, okay? And then we've got no growth because she grows from a mind, which means no abundance because the abundance is there in reverse. If that makes sense because she's in reverse here. Does it make sense? So trapped in the mind by the person that made in reverse, no light was to be seen. So you couldn't shine your light. So you couldn't be the empress in the past. Yeah, you had to go well within. You're learning at the present moment. You had to go well within to address the things that were stabbing you in the back, hurting you, hollow victories, teasing, gossip. And she was just talking about, Alexa was talking about, because Spirit said that um, for Psalms verse there, and to bring that for Psalms verse out because it'll help us here in itself. So there was judgment. There's judgment laid from whatever was in the past here, but it shows there's a, there's a biblical term where don't, uh, what is it? Don't tell me to remove the plank from my eye when you can't remove the, no, don't tell me to remove the speck from my eye when you can't see the plank in yours. And what does that mean? It means don't judge people, yeah? Because you haven't walked a mile in their shoes in itself. So this whole part here is centered around bullying, harassment, being put down, hollow victories, fighting in relationships, okay? That you had to work very, very hard. You had to go in in, in order to address these things because that was what trapped in that mind, if that makes sense, because there's a mind trapped in itself. And it does show that there. It also came out at the start with somebody's thinking about love. Maybe trapped in the mind. Ending, it's right here. There's a rebirth in itself. There's a new, there's a new, there is a new blessing of love coming for you and it's going to give you some sort of roots. There's the Ace of Cups in itself and it leads from here to this card, which is this card straight up to see the colors here, straight up to a new blessing in love because there's a tower moment coming from the past. Let's have a look here. We only got three more cards to pull. Five. Ended and completed. There's, look, okay, look at this, right? This is Hollow Victories. I'm going to read it straight out of the book. Right, this card here of this five of uh, swords is hollow victories. I'll read it straight out of the book so we can get exactly the right reading for you. Because it's trapped in that mind above it, that's all. Okay, five of swords is conflict, losing a challenge, unfair advantage, experience loss, the opportunity to build your skills and confidence, and somebody taking advantage of a situation, winning at all costs, deceitful strategies, and feeling guilty about their victory. So somebody was making you feel guilty about winning in life, if that makes sense, with psychic attack, it says it there thoroughly. Then we've got the five, because this emphasis on this reading has got a lot of fives in it, if that makes sense. So we're gonna have a look at this, okay? Because we've got um, five of inspiration, which is still fighting and conflict, okay? So it's like, yeah, competition. Somebody had you in competition. Somebody was making you be, like challenge you in conflict, ambition, fighting. You can see it's giving you a level up to grow because you've been pushed by others. There was some sort of mental jousting, like mental brainstorming jousting, which is why it has to be released. Adrenaline, aggression, a lot of aggression. Somebody wasn't allowing you to be the dynamic energy that you are as a soul. Yeah, look, broken heart. There's a broken heart there in the past, if that makes sense. That's the tower moment. That's why spirits guided you away from that in itself, okay? Because you give and receive. There was no giving and receiving in the past here. And that's the truth because it leads to that seven, six to the seven, which is the growth. So now because you give and received, you didn't get what you deserved here. When you go into the future, there's the ace of pentacles here for the growth. Even a complete different set of cards. And you can see that because you're going into the future with the right mindset and the harmony with the ten of cups coming in as you're here in itself okay with the victory coming straight underneath it with the chariot there which shows that there's going to be giving and receiving here in the future okay because of your growth see how she's growing and see how that's going to grow in itself the justice is there which is the balance of the scale because of the things from the past that hurt you you go through 10 20 relationships and that that's the justice is when you finally meet the one now ebenezer scrooge is a theory that's coming to mind spirit's not telling me anything about that but i want to bring that story up right now ebenezer scrooge right was 
the theory of Ebenezer Scrooge, right? You can see him going back through the ghosts of the past and things like that. But what it means, right, is, is he was so greedy, right? He met the most beautiful love he could ever have in his entire life. And he released it, okay? Because he wanted to be rich and go and get money, right? And the worst part about it is he continually thought back, okay? So he ended up getting his money and becoming rich. Ebenezer Scrooge is rich, 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 right? And the thing is, is the, when he finally made the money, he turned around to go and get the love of his life, okay? And by that stage, she was taken and she was gone because she was beautiful. She was inner beauty. She was beautiful, okay? She was love in itself. And, and by the time that he'd come back, she was taken, so he couldn't do it. She wouldn't take it anyway because she's not that type of person, right? But then what happened is what, because money is the root of all evil, and we can, I can find biblical terms a thousand times over in that Bible about it, and let alone a life about money being the root of all evil. But when he went into his future, he tried so hard to get his love and love and love, find the same love that he had in the first place, and he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. The dogs are barking outside. He couldn't do it because of this one reason. He could never, ever trust them. Ever, because it's as simple as this. He could never, ever, ever trust them because they were always yes people. They would always do what they're told and then they'd fuck around on him behind his back and then do all this stuff and do all the crap. Ended up breaking his heart ridiculously in the end. But the story of Ebenezer Scrooge, you're a beautiful love, okay? Nobody should be putting you down or making you an option in any way whatsoever or causing conflict and conflict and conflict, okay? And that's the truth. Anybody that broke your heart is not deserving to be there. And that's the best way to say it because the love is in reverse and the wish is in reverse and the, the abundance is in reverse, okay? And the reverse, the, the abundance is on this side, which is leading into your future, if that makes sense. The tower moment is leading for this because if you didn't end it, there was going to be a tower moment because it needed to be released. You can see that there thoroughly because it was stabbing you in the back. We can see there's harmony coming into your future, but that's what the justice is in itself. So you can go on, get the two of cups love that you need, okay, with the love, 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 okay, because you released the shit from the past, but had the right perspective and being fearless at the time you needed to be fearless. And so you could have that equilibrium and create the ace of pentacles for, to grow in life, if that makes sense. Whoever this is, is an idiot, okay, because they never should have left you out in the cold. And that's the truth. So now we're going to lead into the future and have a look at the future because it is your future with the hierophant there. Look at that. You have got to be kidding me. You are on a pursuit in life, a pursuit of excellence. Determined you are because you have determination in inner peace, which is magnificent, okay? And it's beautiful in itself. It's, you give and receive to the universe, so you deserve it. Anything that left you out in the past is not good enough for you. That's the truth to say, to say that. Yeah, there's Ace of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Swords upright is clarity, but anything that was in the past is not good enough for you. That's the best way to say that. You deserve the best in life, Yeah. Well, you'd, you'd think that you'd want the best in life. I'd say you want the best in life. Whatever that Ten of Cups is leading into the future, because when you're in this energy, it comes to you naturally because you're beautiful. Clouded judgment, man. There was clouded judgment. Somebody was keeping the truth inside and they were stabbing you in the back. Thoroughly, because as soon as I lift that up, that's from the past, because we're leading into the future now, which is you had the light surrounding and that transformation, because the deaf, is, deaf and rebirth is a butterfly, and she's got the butterfly, so it shows the transformation of this Ten of Cups is in your hands. Does that make sense? Yeah, your dynamic energy. Let's have a look at the future. Justice. The justice is coming in in the future, which is good for you, if that makes sense. It's going to balance because we've got the balance here of the temperance angel giving you balanced love leading into the future in itself. So you can create good memories. Oh, two cards at once. So you can create good memories and hope for that to grow. See the hope for that abundance? There's a side there. That's the hope. That's what you're wishing for leading into the future. Yeah, because you walked away from this stuff in the past, okay, to get the abundance. It's right there, the chariot, chariot. It's a victory you're getting into the future. Yeah, with team working love or team working into a future. So you don't have to juggle thoughts from the past, but you can create that equilibrium. Yeah, the Ten of Cups is your equilibrium. Whatever the past was, it needed to be rejected for a specific reason. And yeah, it was hard. One, one card, we need one card randomly. Man, there's going to be giving and receiving in the universe. I'm telling you, you're going to get the most beautiful love and it's going to be giving and receiving as you step off on your journey, if that makes sense, which is beautiful in itself. Okay, we're going to have a look at the heart here, then the, um, the worldly views, okay, and other people's feelings, the hopes and dreams and stuff there, but you can see how the reading's turning out for somebody, that's for sure. Wow, Spirit knows your heart and your motives to be true. You've been through so much sadness. Like Nine of Swords Upright shows your heart was sad, okay, and going through horrible depression, 
uh, worries, worry world weighing down on you, anxieties and so much, but it's here and now your heart is gone. So you can grow that abundance into yourself, which is beautiful because here you have that beautiful level of ascension, yes, but you've released anything from the past that no longer served you. So you could have inner peace and it shows that in your heart because divine judgment is knowing spirit, knowing your heart and motives to be true, if that makes sense. I'll read it straight out of the book. Somebody's experiencing brilliant moments of clarity right now. Yeah, look, self-realization and understanding. You know what you want and you'll get it. And that's the truth because that's your spiritual ascension and your awakening. But it's spirit knows your motives and your heart to be true because of total transparency, of soul searching, a reckoning, a glorious unveiling of spirit. Somebody's having an epiphany right now. That's beautiful in itself. Well, let's have a look um, at the heart. Okay, that's the heart. But this is the thought. This is worldly. It's the theories. It's what people feel. It's the way they think about the situation. It's what people think about you. It's it's worldly in itself. And who cares what anybody thinks? Be yourself. But it's relevant. They can see that you've gone through heartbreak over here. They can see that. Okay. And the six of cups is nostalgia. So the world can see, your friends can see that the world has broken your heart. These things from the past, nostalgia, have broken your heart. So you deserve the best going into the future. And that's why your heart and your motives are true. And that's why Spirit's giving you this justice to lead into the future of having exactly what you want. Spirit says protect your energy from any, le from any conflict because you have a wish coming in. Yeah, there's divine guidance. So release and have the right perspective towards your future, if that makes sense, and towards this chariot energy that's coming in, if that makes sense. All right, we're going to have a look at your hopes and fears so we can complete the reading. I want to grab this extra deck to clarify. Man, you have love coming in, and it's a high priestess, okay? Whatever this was from the past, you were, not, you were divinely guided not to stay there because it's in reverse as you're leading to the future. It shows there's love coming in some sort of way, which is beautiful, and maybe hoping for that, but that's absolutely magnificent. It shows that... You were being divinely guided towards love, okay? And divinely guided away from the past, okay? Because something's coming in in the way of love. Because here's the diplomacy of love, okay? But there's something coming in. And that's what you're hoping for in itself. Because where are you? You're right here. There's some sort of abundant new beginning in love that you're hoping for. And it's coming in. So you've walked away from the stuff here that played on that mind. Because on this direction, it shows you walked away from somebody who juggled you. And now they're in regret, Okay, and their strength there in order for you to get the Ten of Cups because with the victory in itself with the chariot energy, which is your justice, which is going to create good memories of hope because the good memories over here aren't very good because the past shows that there as you lead towards it. So therefore, Spirit knows your heart and your motives to be true to give you the love that you need or deserve or whatever it is. But there's harmony in love coming, okay? You're thinking about it thoroughly because there's the love and there's your thoughts. Harmony in love and making that beautiful transition i suppose the best way to say it yeah you completed things out you're very strong fearless at the present moment an entrepreneurial spirit which is magnificent okay so the world uh, is su success and completion so you can have exactly what you want because straight out of the book it's i ascend to new levels of awareness because i am love the next stop from that is the fool and it shows it there thoroughly there's the fool stepping off in the right direction it's completion, it's achievement, it's joy. You've got some sort of joy coming. It's happy ending in some sort of way. Transcendence, new levels of consciousness. And it can literally mean traveling the world. This star card came out before with um, success in some sort of way. We're going to have a look at these cards and then pull the last cards. We'll pull that last. Yeah, you've gone through so much depression, okay? It's so much depression. You may be so much depression that's why you've got happiness coming into the future same card here but it's in reverse same card here but it's in reverse so it's a matter of flicking whichever way you look at it okay the heart needs to be cleared of whatever you're sad about in order to release that in itself because it's in reverse over here so it shows that it's been released if that makes sense going into the future and shows that in the future you will literally have the nine of pentacles does it make sense which is inner peace so in order to have inner peace see how these cards are in reverse so it shows that's in upright and in reverse here. So in order to have the outcome you want, you've got to clear the heart, okay? Whatever's keeping on that mind, okay? And so you can lead into the future with the right perspective because it's in reverse here, but it's upright here. So in order to have your future inner peace, you have to release the thing that's playing on your mind in order to bring it in because Spirit says release that soul and have your epiphany, if that makes sense. Yeah, look, same cards are coming out here. It's fated. You've got to clear the deception in that mindset in order to have the outcome you want. It's going to be hard work. Spirit's guiding you along the way in order to have that beautiful love coming on. Of course, there's a temperance angel there. I'm going to pull some cards here and we're going to have a look and see what comes out. All right. All right. First card, growth. Stick true to your morals and integrity. Very strong. 
Okay, the temperance angel is coming in to balance that out. Okay, because you have the same cards coming out. There is an abundant new beginning for you. It's the roots, okay? Because far out, man. Whatever this was that stabbed you in the back, okay? You've released it now or you're going to release it because there's a tower moment coming. It was trapping you in the mind. It's trapping you in the mind. It needs to be released. Whatever this, if you're still in a relationship with the person from the past, it needs to be released because it's trapping you in the mind. And if you haven't released it or you have released it, see, because that door is closed, if that makes sense. So if you haven't released it, it needs to be released because there's a tower moment coming. I'm telling you the truth. Look, your love is beautiful. It doesn't deserve to be trapped in that stuff because there's the same card. So if you open that door to that love, which is to clear that heart, you will get it with the high priestess. Does it make sense why it's in reverse there? Because there's clarity, the swords of truth in itself. Let's have a look at this past. Whatever it is, it's not good. You need to protect yourself from this past. Yeah, look at the deception. Seven, seven, sevens. Come back out again. Look at the deception from the past in itself. You can't see it, but there's an illusion. Look at the moon, the moon. There's illusion coming in from the past. Whatever this is from the past, it either needs to be released because it's in the heart at the present moment in order because there is deception coming or there's a town, multiple town moments coming from the past. Now, you could be anywhere in this reading, past, present or future, but if it has been released, you have beautiful inner peace coming in. But the reason I say that it hasn't been released is because I've got deception. The same cards here are in the outcome. So the outcome can't change until the heart clears. That's what we're talking about with those seven chakras of the vortex energy, okay? That represents... Uh, the seven levels of consciousness which is this represents the seven levels of heaven in order to have heaven on earth in buddhism that is nirvana all right that is the truth in order to walk towards your dharma by releasing the karma does it make sense you've got something waiting for you it's on your mind and you know it it's coming in okay and it's your justice to get it but until you clear the heart and clear the things from the past whether it's been cleared and you just need to release the burdens then that's cool because that's why we haven't got inner peace but if you're still in that relationship it's like the spirit saying to end that thoroughly the world in reverse. There's nothing on this side, man. It needs to be ended in order to have that Ten of Cups. Whatever it is, okay? There's divine inspiration, okay? Coming into the future, there's a level up with the High Priestess and the Chariots there. It's coming out multiple, multiple times over and over and over again. Divine judgment's been laid. So to heal, because anything that stabbed you in the back will hurt you, because there's the Three of Swords there. And there's the Three of Swords. And then there's the Sword of Justice. So there's the Sword of Justice in itself under there to help you sleep better at night. And then there's the Three of Swords. Okay, so Divine Judgment's been laid so you can heal and step off towards the world. Because you see the world there, it's broken that heart. Okay, that's the best way to say that. Let's have a look at this heart. I've got to, we've got to pull an extra couple of cards on this reading, because there's something not aligning those chakras up, if that makes sense. Like, here you go. The crown. Spirituality. Okay, so it's obviously there. Something beautiful. There's thoughts there, which is beautiful. The third eye's on fire because we can see the divine inspiration of the third eye. We can see the throat chakra maybe in itself needing communication, okay, because it's got to be cleared in some sort of way because there's communication there, but it's been shadowed, if that makes sense, of inner reflection. So that's... um. That's deception in some sort of way, so it does show that there. With the fourth, with the heart, which is this one here, it needs to be cleared in order to clear that up. So that way they come in up, and, and so there's, that clears up the deception, and it clears up the the anxiety or whatever that there. It's faded for you to get what you want, okay? It's the truth, but you can't have the inner peace until you clear the heart, okay? Then the solar plexus, which is the wisdom and power, is perfect, okay? Because you can see that in itself, okay? You can see that there's love coming. You want the love, but... Something from the past is stopping it, which is nostalgia of a broken heart, okay? And then that sacral chakra is the emotions and intimacy because spirit knows your heart and motives to be true so you can be vulnerable to spirit. Does that make sense? So I'm just juggling thoughts, okay? Because that root chakra is very grounded. You're, you're, surrounded, you're surrounded by that root chakra because there's the root chakra there, very grounded. In itself, but now we've got to look, have a look at this heart. It's the same cards coming out, man. Somebody offer, wants to either offer somebody a cup of love and it will grow them in some sort of way, and it's stopping the heart. Okay, so if you're out of the relationship, then something's coming into the future, and so you just got to clear that heart. If you're in the relationship, you've got to do what you do. You can take the guidance as much as you want, okay? But the sunlight is waiting for you there to release the burdens, okay? Because the, you've got to release the burdens of the moon, if that makes sense, which is illusions. The sun is waiting for you, because there it is there. Well, if Sarut asks me to turn the deck, I will ask to turn the deck a thousand times over, okay? But that heart needs to be cleared. And whatever was happening in that world over here, morals and integrity, is you're working on at the present moment that's magnificent but if you're still in the relationship it needs to be released okay in order to get the new thing in now if you're 
literally currently working on your world, which is right now in order to grow because we've gone from the seven to eight to offer that cup of love, six, seven, eight in itself. Your morals and integrity are beautiful and you're doing the right thing, okay? You just got to release that burden in itself because it did show that there as you walk on to the future, which shows inner reflection, inner reflection of the past in order to go into the future, uh, go into the past to reject, re Wow, there's a Knight of Cups coming. It's your justice. I'm telling you the truth. There is a love coming like you've never possibly imagined. I'm telling you the truth. There is love coming. High Priestess. It's going to be a beautiful spiritual connection. It's magnificent, okay? Because we've got the Knight of Cups with justice, with love underneath it. And it just maybe need, maybe you need to trust that divine guidance because the High Priestess is in reverse there. You will get that love and you will listen to the guidance. Spirit says that thoroughly in the background there. Because it's your ultimate wish. It's your ultimate wish come true. Does that make sense? Now we've got to have a look at all this depression and stuff up here in order to clear this heart. How? You've got to step off. Take a leap of faith. Be bold, confident, and strong at the present moment. Don't worry about being left out in the cold from the past because it's a king of cups, which is something beautiful. It's diplomacy of love coming. And there it is there, the king of cups. There's something coming for you in your future. And it's going to create that growth, that beautiful growth in itself. Okay? This the, look at this, all right? This is you. This is a spiritual warrior. That's what that is, a spiritual soldier, determined, charging towards what he wants, charging towards that that happiness. One of the options in itself, okay? Because, oof, one of the options, if you have literally on the dating scene and you've got choice between multiple people, one of them is a bad option, okay? And it's trapping you in the mind and the other one's great. The other one will give you a 10 of cups, which is what you want. Okay, but one of them's trapping you in the mind, okay? You're going to get the celebration. Spirit says that thoroughly, and this is it. Know your worth, okay? Know your worth. Know your worth. Hold true to your value, 444, and get the cup that you want. You've got to just be enthusiastic at the present moment to get what you want. That's a very, very specific reason, reading, but we're going to um, grab an extra deck because I want to, con I want to have a look in itself just to make sure. You have, there's an ace of cups, man. I'm telling you the truth, man. Whatever it is that you want, you're about to get it, all right? But you've got to step off and take a leap of faith, okay? It's your justice to get that love. It's the truth. Look, it's saying it here. You're hoping for it. You want it. It's going to come. It's your wish. There's your cup, okay? But we've got the justice here. You, it's like you're just not seeing it or something like that. And there is a tower moment coming from the past. There is a tower moment. Tower, 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 tower. Okay, it's the truth. Thoughts. Ten of Swords, man. Somebody's, you've got to complete it out. Look, finality. You've got to complete whatever it is in the past out in order to get what you want. Wow. It's right there in itself too. You've got to get what you want in itself, which is beautiful. Four of Pentacles. Hold true to your, hold true to yourself. Release your burdens as you go into the future. Introspection is needed. It's the same cards coming out, okay? As you, as you walk towards your quest, it says it there thoroughly to get towards your want, which is the same card here of giving and receiving. Okay, the heart needs to be cleared with ambition in order to get what you want. Okay, because it's over here. You're ostracizing yourself and leaving yourself out. If you want something, go and get it because there's your reward. It's the Nine of Pentacles. You cannot get, it's here itself. You cannot get what you want until you clear the heart. I'm telling you the truth. I've pulled an extra, I've pulled five decks just to make sure because it's imprisoned at the moment. It need, you need to address the shadows and address what you want because there's a decision that needs to be made thoroughly in order to get the wish, which is your wish. You are the one. You are one. You are the authentic. Something's authentic. The wish is authentic. The wish that you want is authentic. You're going to create good memories look memories in itself yeah wow energy energy it's like divine energy in itself is coming in because it's right over here as well far out man it's right there it's in your you're getting the mission you're getting the message you're getting the message it's it needs to be ended it's the same card here it needs to be ended yeah it's breaking your heart something's breaking your heart and it's a devil because that's a devil dependency codependency is breaking towards the dependency here in itself we can see the deception with the broken heart in itself so it needs to be released in order to anxiety, man. It's come out five times in the end the end of reading. She's there as well. You need to be determined to get what you want. Queen of Swords with the Queen of Wands. Fairness and determination. If you want it, go and get it. And that'll be your Nine of Cups, which is your wish. I'm only going to pull one last card, which is a random card. If you want it, this is what I mean. You've got to clear this heart up in order to get what you want. Or otherwise, you won't get what you want, if that makes sense. And it's just, it's like time is buying you past. Time is buying you past at the present moment. Ten of Pentacles Legacy. That's it. Patience. Step off in the right direction with the Three of Wands. 
You've got to step off in the right direction. Take the leap of faith. Be enthusiastic about it. Don't leave yourself out in the thing. Whatever's from the past, there's no wish for. Lead yourself towards the divine future, okay? Because you've ended something out or you're going to end something out for divine inspiration, which is going to lead you to the Ten of Cups. Judgment has been laid, so you get the, the legacy, if that makes sense, of the judgment and the justice all in one go, which is beautiful because it leads to your Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups in itself. We've just got to clear that heart in order to make sure it comes in because it's all in reverse, if that makes sense. You need to free the soul in some sort of way. If you want something, go and get it. Don't leave yourself out in the cold. Don't ostracize yourself because it's what you want in your world. That's for sure. You're just breaking your own heart. If, you, if you're not in a relationship, you're breaking your own heart. But if you're in a horrible relationship, there's a tail moment coming. Okay, because they're a beautiful future for you. And, and it's something you want, man. It's something you want so much. You just got to listen to the divine guidance that you're receiving. It's something you want so, so much. Look, there's the cup there, which leads to the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups here in the thought. So there's the cup there that gets offered to create the Ten of Cups in itself. You are the one. You are the authentic. You're going to create the memories. And there's energy there in itself. But the same cards have come over and over and over again in the same way. Nines, nine, nine. Anxiety, anxiety. Where are you? Anxiety. See the see the nine of swords. There's one word for it. Anxiety. Because of disappointment, the three of swords from the past, and it's over here in itself. It's well from that world. The world, some sort of codependency. The devil's there in the manipulation. Rejection, regret, trap in the mind. You're going to get that ten of pentacles, but you've just got to release whatever's whatever's playing on your mind of hollow victories in itself. You'll get the option, but you can't ostracize yourself. You need to be confident and step off and take the leap of faith. It's right there. It's, it's the same card's right there, by the way. There to there. The, <laughs> in itself. Don't ostracize yourself. If you want it, it's fate. Fated for you to get it. But until you have inner peace and clear up the thing in your life that you want in your life, it's not going to clear that heart. That's how we align all the chakras in order to get what we want. And then once you align all those chakras, it's even in, it goes back to even Egypt, man, all the way through. And that's what the tuning arc is, is to clear those vibrations, to get it all vibrating thoroughly, to get what you want, passion, drive, determination. When you want something, you will get it. When you don't want it's fated for you to get. I'm telling you the truth. Make the right choice, okay? Make the right choice. You have a beautiful connection waiting for you in some sort of way because that was a king to a queen of swords, which is beautiful communication. It's victory coming in in some sort of way. Okay, something from the past needs to be released and step off in that right direction. There he is, being need to be released, something from the past. Okay, and run towards the high priestess or try release any burdens at the present moment. Okay, because there's happiness and family coming and you need to listen to the guidance. Okay, and that's the truth. Empress, man, I'm telling you the truth. We to have a lovely, beautiful day. Maybe that message means something to you, but I can I can only give the messages that spirit wants to give. If somebody's in two minds about something, the heart needs to be cleared. And if you're not in two minds, then the past needs to be cleared. And if you are in the past, then that needs to be cleared in order to lead towards a beautiful future. And that's why we've got multiple anxiety here. Have a lovely, beautiful day. Take care. God bless. And namaste.